So the police, uh, our chief is going to go uh, department to department, share that information, talk about it, because I do think this is also a learning moment for all of us. Um, he's also on a watch list um, for the state and the Colorado State Police. There are some others, and that was done before us, by the way. So um, that information is out there. This is Kim. Hi, I'm calling because I have a question about something that might be called a Colorado State Patrol watch list or something of that nature. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm calling because it's been made known to me that I may be on such a list, and I'm wondering how I can find out more information about this. Um, I was told it's called a police watch list or a state patrol watch list. And you just want to know more about it? Uh, I, I guess I would like to know if I'm on it, and if I am, how I got on it, and if so, how I would be removed from it or contest the reason that I'm on it. What's your name, ma'am? Uh, my name is Danny Ladoni. Can you spell your last name? L E D O N N E. Okay, hang on one second, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Danny? Yes. Okay, we don't have a watch list. Do you? Are you thinking you have a warrant or? Well, certainly there's no warrant that's been issued for my arrest, and no charges have been brought against me. Uh, however, earlier this week, I believe it would have been Wednesday of this week, uh, President McClure of Adams State University told a meeting of faculty and staff that I am on a police watch list, and I wanted some clarification as to what that would be if such a thing exists at all. Hang on one second, okay? Thank you. Okay, I can leave, um, I can leave a message for one of the Adams State PD officers to give you a call, maybe? I'm not sure I'm really interested in speaking with the Adams State Police Department. I guess I'm interested in having confirmed or denied the, uh, the statement that I am on some kind of a police watch list. Okay, hang on. What did he need? Are you thinking something? Thank you. Okay, well, like I said, we don't have a watch list. I'm not really sure. Okay, can you describe um, what, what she might be referring to? Um, I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. It'd probably be best if you're thinking it's coming from one of their PD officers to talk to one of them. Just okay. to clarify or to get any questions you answered, because I don't know. Okay, so um, with whom am I speaking right now? This is Kim. I'm the dispatcher. Okay, you're a dispatcher, and, and who do you represent? Um, we're with Colorado State Patrol Dispatcher, but we dispatch for our different agencies. Oh, I understand. Okay, so um, that being the case, is there any other... Um, other than Adam State's own police, uh, that that would um, be able to further clarify uh, this this matter. Um, let me check. Hang on one second, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have a watch list, and if that's something they do, we don't know about it. So your best bet would probably be just to have someone call you back from them. Okay, um, and I know this is a silly question, and you probably wouldn't be able to answer it anyway, but is it possible that you do have a watch list and you're simply not allowed to confirm or deny its existence? Um, as far as we know, we don't, we don't have a watch list. We don't have any kind of watch list. Like I said, if that's something Adam State's doing, that's not our doing. Okay. So, and you like I said, it'd probably be best to talk to them if you right. want have any questions answered or right. want answered. Sure. And, again, you represent the Colorado State Patrol? Yes. Okay. And, yeah, we dispatch for the Adam State Police Department. But, like I said, we don't have a watch list even with them. Great. Okay. Well, Kim, I appreciate speaking with you today, and thank you again. Okay, and did you want to call back or no? I think that resolves my concern uh, at this time, so I appreciate your clarification. Okay. Okay, have a good day, Danny. You too. Take care. Uh, you too. Bye-bye.
Helen Lopes, the police department. Hi, I'm calling because I had a couple of questions about the existence of what might be called a watch list by the Alamosa police. A watch list? Yeah, so let me give you a little bit of a backstory. The president of Adam State University, Beverly McClure, told uh, the faculty and staff in a meeting on Wednesday that my name, Danny Ladoni, is on a list of uh, people that are being watched by the Colorado State Patrol or some other police agency. So I'm making some phone calls to determine if that is true and if such a list exists. Okay. Let me see if I can uh, transfer you into my patrol captain. Um, he is going to be able to help you a little bit more than I am, okay? Thank you. Uh -huh. Captain Mills. Hi, my name is Danny Ladoni. I'm calling, okay. I'm calling because I've been informed that the president of Adam State University has stated that I am on a watch list by the Colorado State Patrol or some other police agency, and I wanted to determine if that such a list existed and if I would be on it. Uh, we don't have any, there's not such a list that exists with the Alamo Police Department, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, so there would not with us. Sorry, go ahead. I said not with us. Okay. Can you think of any other agency? The college didn't make aware of the situation and that you weren't allowed on the campus. That 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 was the extent of what we um, understood. We okay. don't have a watch list, nor do we uh, practice a watch list per se. Okay. Do you um, do you know, know if there is a warrant out for my arrest? I do not. You'd have to check with the courts for that. Okay. Um, do you have any other information about? Uh, concerns that would be brought to my attention with regard to this matter? As far as what? Well, so I haven't been charged with any crime and no formal allegation has been brought to my attention, um, but I've been told that I'm not allowed on the Adams State University campus. So I'm trying to Correct. clarify, you know, what is the legal basis for this action if there's been no judicial process that would have for example, placed a restraining order on me or some other evidence that would be used to make that finding. Okay. Well, since we're not the investigating agency, your best bet would contact the Adams State University Police Department and talk to Chief Paul Grahowski. Okay. I certainly have had contact with him on this matter, but I just wanted to make sure that the Alamosa police didn't have any other leads that they were following or investigation with regard to this situation. Okay. We do not, sir. Okay. Uh, that's very helpful to know. Is there anything else that you might be able to tell me to help clarify why I would be told that such a list exists and that I'm on it? Well, like I said, I do not know. Um, I can't give you any legal advice. You'd have to contact an attorney for that. Or you may contact Chief Grahowski for that inquiry because, like I said, we don't... Uh, granted that the uh, police department is within the city limits of Alamosa, but we don't... They're not placing under our agency, so you'll have to contact the chief there. Okay, so just to be clear, no such list exists to your knowledge? Nope, all we were informed was that you weren't allowed on the property, that was it. Okay, do you know if um, if you as Alamosa police would respond to such a call by arresting me? We would respond to assist Adam State in whatever needs they may request, but we wouldn't necessarily personally go after you. Okay, and why wouldn't you do that? Unless you had a warrant for your arrest and you were contacted within the city limits or outside the city limits, that's at a point in time when we could arrest you, but... Okay, so... We're not going to just arrest you just for no grounds. Right, so there wouldn't be grounds for arrest. And just to nope. clarify, in terms of jurisdiction, does the Alamosa police um, oversee Adam State University's... Um... No, we do not. They're their, their own entity, so... Okay, but do they exist within the city limits? Um, they're a state agency, and yes, they can. Okay, so just to clarify, the Alamosa police would not necessarily follow the same procedure with regard to arresting me that you would, uh, or that uh, the Adam State police would? They're, uh, like I said, they have different procedures, and we follow our own, and they have their own guidelines, so... Okay, but you wouldn't be arresting me if I were to step foot onto the property? As of right now, we, unless requested by them, no. Okay, and if they filed that request, but you had no warrant or other grounds for doing so, would you do so? I, I, 
I just told you we can't do it unless we have a warrant for your arrest, sir. Okay, that that's I appreciate your response. Uh, obviously, from my standpoint, it's rather confusing that I'm hearing different uh, law enforcement agencies give me somewhat different answers. Um, but I take you at your word, and I appreciate your help today. No problem, sir. Okay, thank you. Take care.